when you use cardboard and you don't recycle it or upcycle it, you have to think about where it comes from. Cardboard comes from trees. And over 85% of all products that are sold in the U.S. are packaged in cardboard. And it's just, it's just absolutely amazing. Cardboard comes from the raw material called pulp, which is extracted from trees. There's a limited number of trees in the world, and we need to remember this. We need every last one of them to preserve the oxygen level and reduce the carbon dioxide level. Obviously, we can't stop the packaging of the products, so the only viable solution left is to reuse the cardboard in the most efficient and cost-effective way. And that's what I think I do. Now, this is, a, this is recycling or upcycling silk flowers. How many of you here in the, the room today have silk flowers that are either dirty or they've faded or they're in a box that, that you have that you just you don't want to get rid of them or they're pretty flowers? This is the perfect project for that. And what it is is, is first of all, it's stiffening the flowers. So what I'm going to show you first is the background. And this is where I wanted you to use cardboard. Today I'm actually using some canvas board, but, but certainly use, use a couple thicknesses of like cereal boxes, use packing boxes, use things that you have around the house. I'm also using a dimensional paint, and I've made a squeegee or a comb out of um, some mat board, and I've just cut it with a um, pinking shears. So I'm just going to squeeze my dimensional paint out on the background. And remember, you know, use what you have as far as your background. And then what I'm going to do is just take this dimensional paint and just kind of put it on my background and just get some dimension in there. And it also is kind of kind of act as a glue for all the things that I'm going to put on there. And the fun thing too is you could actually go and make, you know, your background could be kind of curvy. You could do a couple of different ways. And then I have one of these plastic cups. Now how many times have you seen these plastic cups like at the park? Somebody's left them. They're in, somebody hasn't thrown them away or recycled them. We're going to recycle today. We're going to put this on to this background. This is going to be our container today. Again, use what you have. If you have, if you have a little milk carton, if you have any other plastic container, you could take, even take the water bottles, take the, the short part of the water bottles, cut it out. Use what you have around. Now, I also did take a little bit of the, um, on my finished piece, I took a little bit of the um, dimensional paint and I put it over my cup. I'm going to set this aside for a second so that we can use the silk flowers and show you how I did the silk flowers. I have just a Ziploc bag. I put my flowers with, with none of the, I take them all the little pieces of plastic off of them. And then I use the Aline fabric stiffener, which has been around for years and years and years. And this is what makes them really stiff. It's just an amazing product. I'm going to pour it into the bag. And this helps to, to get where your hands aren't um, messy, but eventually you got to reach in and get them. So just mix it up. Mix it up. And so you, gotta, you can tell if they're all covered. I'm going to bring my board back in. And then I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to lay them where I want them. You can double up. You can, you can put them where you want. And actually, these are big, but I think I'm going to, I think I really like them like that. Just lay them where you want, and then I've got some leaves here. I actually should have cut them apart. Let's cut them apart. Again, this is so easy, and it's so much fun to do. We're going to put that in there, there, and then we're going to put one here. 
and then you let it dry and you let it dry completely until this is all clear all the white on the um, flowers is clear I'm going to move that out of the way because the next step that I do is I paint the whole thing black I just like the the way that it when I paint over it that the the black kind of comes through and I'm going to just do a little bit of painting on it and I always like to start out with a darker color so I kind of have a kind of a purpley mulberry color and then I've got a lavender and we have a little bit of a turquoise and I usually do the background first and just kind of put your color on and it's it's not really wet you can always add more yes I used rust-oleum flat but I have even used acrylic paint um, just to brush it on so if you're doing it in a class and you don't want to use the spray paint you definitely can use um, the acrylic and just brush it on Okay, so when I get like that area, then I take the next color and go over it. And I just keep building my colors as I go. And it's so much fun to find all the different colors that you want to use on this. Yeah, look at the, the picture, all the different colors that I put. And you can see on the picture how the black, I don't cover up the entire black. And it's, it's really cool the way that it looks. And it is, it is that simple. And again, if you, if, you did, if you put too much in, you can always go back and put a little bit, cover up a little bit. You can put color onto your... And you can start putting color, build color onto your, your other um, pieces until you have the whole thing done. So any, any other questions that I missed? It, it is almost like dry brushing. I don't use very much paint. And the reason, like I said, well, I don't use very much paint is you can always add more paint. And, um, you can, and you, if you put too much, you can just put it over. So it's definitely a wall hanging. You can make it any size you want. And actually, you can think about it too. Let's go a little bit more creative on this, too, um, going one step further. If you wanted to do it on the top of a box, you could do it on the top of a box to give as a gift. Just do it like it's a bouquet, and you don't have to put the, um, the actual, like, the cup in there. So just be creative. And, and this is a technique that you can use on many different things. You could actually take these flowers, because they're hard. When you, um, I'm going to show you here, they're hard. Once they dry, they're really hard, hard. And on this, yeah, I did put some texture magic over. You can see how I put it over the, the cup. Um, <laughs> you know, this is probably the biggest question Karen has. Do you seal it when it's finished? Everyone asks, always asks me on every project, do you seal it when it's finished? If I do seal it, I don't always, but if I do seal it, I usually use a spray gloss or a spray matte finish. And... Um, Aline's has a wonderful one, but you can use any of them. Um, I don't always do it, but if you feel the need to, to, to ever seal something, use like a spray um, sealer. Or like to be eco-friendly, there's some wonderful um, sealers that you can just brush on.